That's fine. True. <laughs> that's, the, that's the truest thing you've ever said in a while. There's Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hello, students. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. There's Tyler. That's Nick. How's it going? Nick's going to bed. They're saying hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, look. Come here. What are you teaching them? That word. Word. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hello. That's Nick. Study hard, guys. Nick said to study hard. There's Tyler. What's up, guys? Which room should I teach in? The other room? No, I'm getting food and then I'm going to bed. So can I go to the bathroom? Why don't you just teach, you can teach in the bathroom? I can teach in here? Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. What time did I get on? Late here. Sorry, sorry. I'm glad you were thinking about me. It's flattering. Hello, hello. Join in. Hi, guys. As often as I can. Thank you for asking how I've been. I've been good. I've been working a lot. Uh, working at my job. Uh, been working a ton, so. But yeah, Bixby works too. Bixby works at a barbecue shop. He's eating his barbecue right now. Barbecue is like uh, meat. It's like an American, uh, like they, when they slow cook pork and then put it in sauce. And then uh, Nick does insurance. And financial advising. And financial advising. Give me, give me a steal. Yeah, he'll he'll try to he'll try to convince you. Does that need any financial help? It's not convincing. We'll wait a little bit longer for everybody to join in, for other Hi. students to join in. Tyler's going to bed, so say good night. Going to bed. Good say good night. We'll Yokely's already laying down. Wait a little bit longer. Good night. Good night. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start today's lesson really quickly because everybody's going to bed. I don't want to keep them up tonight. But uh, we'll go ahead and start by first saying that um, I, AJ um, and I are waiting. I think we're going to be launching the Amped English course in January. Um, AJ's been kind of hard to contact, but I'll get a hold of him soon. Um, and I'll be talking to him soon about where we're at in the process so I can tell everybody kind of when the official launch date will be. But um, we'll go ahead and do our first word of the day. Our word is initial. Initial. Does anyone know what the word initial means? Has anyone heard the word initial? Initial. Kind of a hard word. Initial. Wait a little bit. I know it. What's it mean? No, we've got a no. We have a yes. Standard state. So, initial, which is spelled I-N-I-T-I-A-L, initial, is a, an, it's an adjective. An initial means at the beginning. So, at the beginning of something. So, my initial reaction, let's think of that. My initial reaction um, is my first reaction. So, when I first meet someone, my initial reaction is that they're, they are a jerk. So let's say that I think someone is a jerk when I meet them. So my initial reaction, that's my first reaction, is I think that they are a jerk. But I might get to know them for a while and then realize that they're really nice, that they are really nice or they're a good person. Um, another um, good example would be um, my initial uh Grade was an F, but after talking to the teacher and telling them uh, what I was thinking on my essay, uh, they gave me a B. So my grade, so that was my first grade. So it's usually the beginning. The initial is the beginning. 
Um, most of the time you'll hear my initial thought was this, or my initial thought was that, um, or my initial impression, my belief on something, my impression of someone was that they were very beautiful. That they were very beautiful. They were a beautiful person. Um, and so this is a very common word. You'll hear this a lot. You'll hear the word initial a lot, the initial reaction to something, the initial belief. Um, and so I've got a sentence for you that I can read for you right here. I've got it written down. So my initial plan was to study until midnight and wake up late, but then I fell asleep too early. So my initial, let me read it for you again. My initial plan, my beginning plan was to study until midnight. So study very late and then wake up late and wake up late, but then I fell asleep early. So let's say I fell asleep early. I fell asleep at nine o'clock instead of midnight. So I woke up early in the morning, but I didn't study late. So my plan wasn't what I had initially thought it would be, what I had initially planned, what I had planned at the beginning. So this is a very common word. It's very common. Uh, and you'll hear this a lot. You'll hear this a lot. So let me just spell it for you one more time so you know what it means. Um, and you know how to spell it. So I-N-I-T-I-A-L, initial. Does it have another pronunci pronunciation? No, it's initial, initial, initial. It's kind of hard to say. So initial, initial, initial. Um, and then another thing... Uh, and so this word's pretty common. It's pretty common. And then let me explain really quickly. So initial, it's at the beginning. Again, it's at the beginning. So do I have any questions about the word initial? And do I have any questions just in general? Any questions that anybody wants to ask? Sorry, I'm moving my camera. I'm kind of trying to find a good spot for it. Sorry, it's a little dark in the room today. Our lamp is broken right now. We have to get a new lamp. Do I have any questions? Crystal clear, great. I like hearing crystal clear. Perfect. Thank you for the hearts, by the way. Thank you for the hearts. I can take two questions tonight just because my roommates are getting ready to go to bed. So I want to let them sleep. So if there aren't any questions, um, I was going to say that I'm going to do a lesson tomorrow at an American mall. I'm going to be at a big mall, a shopping mall. Um, and I'll do, I'll walk you around kind of the stores and everything. So I'm working at a store right now. I work at J. Crew. Um, I'll show you some of the stores, let you see kind of the inside of the store, and I'll let you see kind of what it looks like. It's a huge mall. It's really, really big, and it's all outside. It's an outdoor mall. It's really cool. Um, and so I'll show you around that, let you go in some of the stores, and I'll teach my word of the day at, uh, at work tomorrow as well. I work from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m., so I'll be working about uh, nine hours. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to use the word initial um, in your speech and in your conversation. Okay, so how much time do I need to finish the new course to take the TOEFL exam? Um, so I would say that the course is meant for 16 weeks, but you can go through the course pretty quickly. If you want to like really, really practice hard and work through the course, you can get it done in a few weeks. Um, AJ and I are still talking to see if we want to do it where you have to unlock the next week or if you can skip ahead. Um, I prefer unlocking the next week so it makes it so you have to do everything and kind of keep up with it, but you should be able to go through the course pretty easily. Um, and I can help you with questions along the way if you have any questions during the course um, when I teach lessons. So if you are taking the course, the AMP English course, and in January, and um, you have questions about it, I can answer them for you. I'm sure there will be a lot of questions, and I'd be happy to work through that. So, But I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember to use the word initial. I look forward to seeing you. I'll let you know when I'm going to be on because it depends on when my break is. So take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you for the hearts. Have a great week. 
What's the minimum level? Um, I would say you if you, I would say intermediate to advanced is going to be the level. By the way, that's going to be the level. It's going to be intermediate to advanced. So take care, guys. Bye bye. I'm out.